we can remember the droplet airborne precautions picmonic as the patient's coughing and sneezing droplets and airborne infantry precautions. It is important to remember that the patients on these precautions must be placed in a private room, shown by the private rooms. Droplet precautions refer to droplets larger than 5 microns, the droplets larger than the 5-hand micron ruler, and these precautions should be taken when being within 3 feet of a patient, shown as the 3 feet of patient. A surgical mask with face shield should be worn, the surgical mask and face shield. The type of infection or condition will determine if a patient should be placed on this precaution, shown by the different types of droplets, with common droplet pathogens being the influenza virus, meningitis, or pertussis. The other type of respiratory precaution is airborne, which requires the use of a type of private room called an airborne infection isolation room, AIIR, shown by the air vacuum. Airborne precautions refer to droplets smaller than 5 microns, droplets smaller than the 5-hand micron ruler. Staff members caring for a patient on this precaution will be required to wear an N95 respirator, the N95 respirator, as these masks prevent the inhalation of pathogens smaller than 5 microns. Once again, the type of infection or condition, different types of airborne infantry, will determine if a patient is placed on these precautions and include common airborne pathogens, such as M. tuberculosis, rubiola, or measles, or disseminated varicella zoster virus, chickenpox. In summary, patients on droplet airborne precautions require the use of a private room. Droplet precautions are used when pathogens are carried in droplets larger than 5 microns, and when being within 3 feet of a patient. You must wear a surgical mask with a face shield and consider the type of infection or condition. Airborne precautions require the use of an airborne infection isolation room, AIIR. Droplets are smaller than 5 microns, and an N95 respirator is worn. Again, consider the type of infection or condition requiring the implementation of airborne precautions. For droplet airborne precautions, imagine you're taking care of these two contagious patients. And shooting from each of their mouths, you see these droplets and airborne infantry trying to invade your body every time you step into their private rooms. On the left, you have the droplets room, where precautions are a little more lax, because these droplets are larger than 5 microns, as measured by the micron ruler held by your 5-finger hand. It's because these drops are so large that you don't need to worry about precautions as much, so long as you're not stepping within reach of the patient's 3 feet. But if you are getting that close, you need your PPE, which includes a surgical mask and face shield. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our infection, prevention, and control Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from standard precautions, contact precautions, droplet airborne precautions, aseptic technique, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.